Hello, my name's Dave from the Regal UK team here at Telonic Instruments Limited. We're here today to show you a little bit about low power RF measurement using the DSA815 and we're also going to show you some use of attenuators to test some amateur radio rigs here just to have a look at their power output using suitable attenuators. Now in this case we're using power attenuators for uh, higher power rigs even for low power use we do recommend that you use uh, a small attenuator for your testing with all modern instruments, spectrum analyzers. It is possible to damage the very sensitive inputs and outputs of the instrument. We do supply a new radio adapter kit that includes this attenuator. It's the XRA kit. It's available on regal-uk.co.uk. This will clip easily to the front of your analyzer and it makes it very easy to look uh, more safely at levels going into your analyzer right there. So do have one of those to hand. Today we're also going to be testing three different rigs to have a look at their power output. So I've got a higher power attenuator here. You'll notice that the 815 has N-type connectors. A lot of radio amateur kit has BNC or PL259 connections on it. So very often you'll be seeing PL259 connectors like that in your shack. So just released a new uh, VBRA kit, radio adapter kit, which is great for use with the 815. It's got in it a nice BNC adapter right here that enables you to connect to the front of the analyzer. And it's also got with it a, a PL259 adapter, this one here, which I can easily use if I have some PL259 connections in my shack, I can easily adapt that on there like that. So there we go, there's a number of ways of getting at uh, connections easily into the 815. Now today we're just going to show you uh, some examples of uh, RF measurement. So I'm going to take my 30 dB power attenuator, I'm using the XRA adapter kit, the VBRA adapter kit, I'm going to connect that to the front of my analyzer. Now I do still need to be careful with power levels on the 815 so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that the input attenuator is turned on in the 815 so I'm going to pop that onto 10 dB, there we go. Uh, that won't give you very much protection but it's always best to start like that and it's always best to start with the preamplifier turned off as well. Okay, so let's give it a go. Right now you can see that I'm lighting up this rig with a nice stable 12 volts from a DP832 Regal linear power supply. So this is a lovely low, lin low noise linear power supply for the shack. Very cost effective. It has two 30 volts 3 amp channels on it and plenty enough current to power a nice 25 watt rig like this. I assume that the maximum that would be would be 25 watts. Uh, so l let's have a go. You can see it's nicely lit up. I've got my little mic here with the push to talk on it. And we're going to compare the rigs. We're going to take a look on the front of the 815 and let's see what the power levels are like. So first of all, uh, I'm making sure again that I've got my attenuators strapped in. I've actually got 50 dB of attenuation in there right now. 30 plus 20 and if my colleague can zoom in on the screen I'm going to take a look at what's happening with the power levels. Now I've got the analyzer set up with its default settings so just power on there you go. So you can see it's got a reasonably high noise floor note right now. What I'm going to hope is that when I click push to talk I'll get a reasonable level of output. Oh there we go that's lovely. Okay so without, without uh, messing at all with the controls on the DSA815 I've got the right levels of attenuation in and I've already got a perfect signal. Now having done that I could remove my 20 dB uh, uh, 2 watt attenuator but you know what? Why? Because it's clearly giving me enough to be able to make a, a measurement. I've got enough attenuation in there so it's very useful to just keep it in there for safety purposes. So what I'm going to ask the 815 to do it's just to find that peak for me. So I'm going to put a marker on right now. I'm going to say peak. I'm going to say just find the continuous peak. 
There you go, that's found it immediately. There it is. Hey, that's fantastic. It's 430 megahertz. So that rig is carrying 430 megahertz and it's immediately giving me a minus 15 dBm measurement. Minus 15 dBm. Now, I said to you that I had 50 dB of attenuation in. So if we've got minus 15 here, that tells me that I've got, uh, essentially I've got 35 dB over 0 dBm. 35 dBm output. 35 dBm from this rig. So that's 5 dBm over a watt. So it's 30 dBm is a watt. So 35 is going to be uh, plus 5 dBw. And there it goes. Look at that. That's fantastic. I wonder if that power level using the power supply I can see if that power level changes when I push up the volts. So let's key in for example 13.5 volts. Okay, that's giving me a little beep just as I went to 13.5. Let's see whether the power level is any different. Oh, it's a little bit higher so I've just got maybe one or two more dBm maybe that's uh, 13 minus 13 dBm now so that might give me 7 dBm. So the output of that, I would say that is a 5 watt rig. 5 watts out of that rig right now. But what I'm going to do quickly is just switch across to the next rig down. So now we're on the second rig here. I've got the mic plugged in there. And I'm going to see what the second rig is doing. There it is. The marker is tuned into it. And again, that's, um, that's actually just a little bit more power. That's minus 12 dBm. I'm wondering if there is a high power mode on that rig. What I notice is that the output voltage on this power supply has gone down to 8.7 volts uh, because this is maxed out at 3 amps. So we're going to actually strap this to another power supply. We're going to parallel up these outputs and we're going to let, it, uh, let the rig go a little bit more current. I've now got two 13 volt outputs in parallel, each of which will provide 3 amps. So hopefully now, when I key down, I'm going to see a little bit more power out. Wow, look at that, that's good. The power supply is here still dropping to around about 10 volts, but this rig is very happy and it's kicking out 430 MHz at minus 8 dBm. So I'm quite pleased with that. I suspect if I sustained 13.5 volts, there will be a little bit more RF output. So these outputs now, if that's a 50 dB attenuator, these rigs are therefore capable of outputting uh, as much as plus 44 dBm, plus 44, 43 dBm. Uh, and I would say that plus 13 dBm is probably about 20 watts. Plus 10 dBm would be 10 watts, of course. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the third rig right now. Let's turn the outputs off before we go any further. <laughs> nice loud beat, that rig's happy. So here we go on rig number three. Oh, lovely. Minus 7.4 dBm. So that one's kicking out just a little bit more. Again, uh, just, just under 13 dBm, uh, or about uh, 20 watts. So I'm very happy with that as a power test. Now what we can do now is use some more functions from the DSA815. So we can say, I want the marker to go to center frequency, and I will uh, that immediately moves that peak into the center frequency in one simple movement. Let's take the span down to about 100 kilohertz. What we should see here, the FM trace, there we go. If I now take this mic and just whistle into it, that's nice. And if I narrow that span a little bit more, about 50 kilohertz
you can see very clearly you see very clearly that FM vessel vessel functions uh, in that FM modulated it's picking up my voice but without that that's very clean so I like that so there we go in summary what we've done is to make sure that we understand the safe use of the DSA-815 for low power measurement we've made sure that we've got the correct attenuators we've taken a look at some of the telonic kits and products that you can get from regal-uk.co.uk that will help you to safeguard your, your analyzer and what we've also done is to analyze three VHF rigs really quickly and easily with the help of the Regal DP832 power supply using its parallel output mode to provide up to six amps and plenty of watts. Thank you for watching. Please take a look at some of our other videos on the Telonic channel on YouTube.